Good day, this is Mission Control Houston, where our team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the International Space Station as it orbits 240 miles above the North Pacific, heading for a uh, crossing of the uh, Pacific Northwestern coast in just a few minutes. All systems on board the space station are working very well. Uh, yesterday, the team completed a reboost of the International Space Station, uh, putting it uh, at uh, almost the right altitude for the arrival of the next uh, cargo ship, the Progress 45 spacecraft that's scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at uh, 5.11 a.m. Central Time on October the 30th. That'll be immediately after the uh, Progress 42 spacecraft undocks from the uh, space station's Piers docking compartment for up that port on Saturday, October the 29th. The uh, new Progress is scheduled to dock to the Piers docking compartment at 6.42 a.m. Central Time on November the 2nd. On board the International Space Station, uh, Commander Mike Fossum of Expedition 29, along with flight engineers Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov, are conducting a day's worth of experiment activities uh, and uh, preparations for the departure of that Progress spacecraft. They started their day about uh, 1 a.m. Central Time uh, and uh, have been working on a variety of different experiments. Uh, uh, Furukawa working with some educational activities uh, in the uh, Kibo laboratory module provided by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency and with uh, the construction of uh, some Lego bricks uh, which were part of an educational experiment set up to the International Space Station. Commander Mike Fossum has been working with the uh, capillary flow experiment, uh, which is a fluid physics experiment that investigates how fluids move up surfaces in microgravity that could lead to future uh, improvements in tanks for spacecraft that use this uh, property to uh, get flow of the fuel to their engines in the uh, microgravity environment. The uh, team on board the space station uh, also has uh, had some help from Mission Control taking some uh, images of uh, Tropical Storm Ophelia over the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, here's a video replay of that uh, view of Ophelia. It's a Category 3 storm now at 150 miles per hour. It's moving north-northwest at 12 miles an hour to far east of the Bahamas and not threatening any land masses. This was one of the uh, items in the crew's uh, crew Earth observation targets for today. As it uh, pulled away from the northern Leeward Islands, uh, heading north-northwest out over the open waters of the Atlantic. It's showing some uh, pretty compact circulation and uh, becoming better organized, and so a very good target for Earth observations as the crew and the team here in Mission Control watch the eye of the storm, which we can see in this close-up that was recorded earlier today. The crew on board the space station also taking uh, some pictures of the configurations of the different experiment racks on board the International Space Station uh, in preparation for the arrival of uh, the next members of the Expedition 29 crew, which are scheduled to launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on the uh, Twenty first of November. That'll be uh, correction November fourteenth. Uh, that'll be uh, Dan Burbank from NASA, uh, along with uh, Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin from the Russian Federal Space Agency. They're scheduled to dock with the International Space Station in their Soyuz TMA-22 spacecraft at 11.45 p.m. Central Time on November the 15th. And then it'll be uh, the departing crew of uh, Volkov, Fossum, and Furukawa who are uh, leaving the space station at 8.21 for, for on the 21st November, heading for a landing in Kazakhstan at 8.21 p.m. Central Time. Crew on board the space station now conducting some uh, VHF communications checks with a couple of ground stations in the United States as we are passing over these opportunities in preparation for uh, possible emergency communications in the event that we would not be able to use our tracking and data relay satellite system, which is the normal high rate communication system used by the space station for space to ground transmissions. 
today in Mission Control, Courtney McMillan is the flight director in uh, charge of the activities and the team here. She's working closely with spacecraft communicator Jay Marshke, who has an uh, on-the-job training uh, member on duty, learning the ropes, Jeremy Hansen. This is Mission Control Houston.